Let's turn to India's eastern border and look at the crisis in Myanmar. Rebel forces continue to make gains there. Reports say they've taken another checkpoint on the China-Myanmar border. It's in the Kokang self-administered region in Myanmar's northeastern Shan state. Now, the entire region is reportedly in rebel hands. If true, this is another setback for Myanmar's military junta and a major victory for the rebel forces. But these rebel victories also come at a price. The arms and ammunition needed to fight the junta do not come for free. So what is their source of funding? Drugs. New reports are out. They say Myanmar is the world's opium capital. And the production of meth is surging, which poses a new challenge for neighbors like India. Here's a report. We are all know that what's happening in the country since the, political uh, since the military takeover in February 2021, an ongoing conflict, governance challenges, worsening economic situations that all have contributed to the increases in open poppy cultivation and engagement of farming of opium by farmers. That was an officer from the UN Office on Drugs and Crime. He says opium production is on the rise in Myanmar. And this has been the case since the military junta deposed Myanmar's democratically elected government in 2021. The UN Drug Office has released its annual report. And it says Myanmar has overtaken Afghanistan as the world's top opium producer. The UN report says Myanmar's opium economy was worth 2 to 4 percent of its GDP last year. It's estimated at 2.5 billion dollars. There was an 18 percent increase in opium production in Myanmar between 2022 and 2023. And they expect it to rise further next year. It's not just opium. Myanmar has steadily become a hub for other drugs as well, especially methamphetamines known locally as Yaba, or crazy pills. The production of these drugs has surged in Myanmar's Shan state. It lies in what's known as the Golden Triangle, Southeast Asia's major drug-producing region. The drugs produced in Myanmar make their way across the Asia-Pacific. They are smuggled through Thailand or other neighboring countries, and they enter the global black market. In the last two weeks, major drug busts have taken place near the Thailand-Myanmar border. Last week, the Thai police seized 50 million meth tablets. 50 million. It's a record bust in Thailand. This week, there was another seizure. Two million tablets this time. They were recovered after the Thai police shot down suspected drug smugglers. And Thailand isn't the only country these drugs pass through. Take India, for instance. Reports say hundreds of people in India's northeast have been arrested for drug-related crimes this year. Some have been Myanmar nationals. Others are Indians who have been aiding the cross-border drug trade. Myanmar's rebel offensive that began in October has sparked more fears. People from Myanmar are making their way to India as refugees. Local authorities worry that this will lead to a rise in drug trafficking. We can see that increasingly sophisticated uh, farming practice in Myanmar over the last few years, the resulting in the uh, record uh, opium yield per hectare, 22.9 kilograms, which is again 65% increase compared to just two years ago. There's a reason for this. Before the 2021 coup, opium production in Myanmar was going down. But the junta takeover set off fresh waves of resistance among Myanmar's various ethnic groups. Clashes between the junta and the rebel groups led to instability in the far regions of the country. And some people began turning to opium farming again to make a living. That's one part of it. The unorganized part. But it isn't the only reason drug production is up. Organized criminal elements took advantage of the military takeover to boost drug production as well. The Shan state is the major drug production region in Myanmar. This is overseen by some rebel groups in the region. They negotiated with the junta after the military took over, promised to refrain from fighting in exchange for autonomy, and then they proceeded to ramp up drug production. They've used this to fund the latest offensive against the junta. Does this mean the junta is better when it comes to the Myanmar drug problem? No. Hunter troops have also been implicated in the drug trade. 
So it's a complicated situation where almost no one's hands are clean.